Hello, I'm back again with another haul. Oh, you don't understand how happy this makes me. Like, I feel like fashion is just what I love doing. I love talking shit about clothes. I love trying clothes on. Do you know what I mean? It's just, I feel like it's my thing, but my bank balance is like, no honey, it's not your thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, it costs a lot to do these hauls, damn. But I'm thinking like, I'm spending money, so you don't have to, do you know what I mean? So today I'm trying a brand I've actually never ever tried before, which is Shein, Shine, Sheen. I wanna say Shein, I like that, but I know it's one word, but and everyone's probably gonna correct me, but I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> so, I don't know, This I've seen this brand pop up everywhere, like there's so many ads for it, loads of people are wearing it, and I just thought, I wanna get a bit of that. Like, the website, I'm not gonna lie, looks a bit dodgy. It's from China, do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I wanted to do a little bit of investigating. And also, I wanted to try it on my size body, so I'm a size 12, and I always like to do fashion hauls for you guys because I love watching fashion hauls with people with similar bodies to me. I see loads of like size six to eight girls and that and it looks great on them. I'm like, but would it look good on like a mid-size? Dunno. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sort it for you, babes. I'm gonna do it. I spent around 120, which for the amount I got was actually banging. Like I'm really impressed with it, but let's see, because the quality could really let me down. It came a lot quicker than I was expecting too, because on the website it said it was going to take three weeks and it came in one and a half so impressive you know yeah without further ado let's just get cracking into it also i've got my extensions in i don't really know why i don't know why i've got them in do they look nice or do they look ratty let me know i just wanted to feel different <laughs> So I've got my rail set up here. Right, look, look at me go. Look at me from a YouTube with my rail. But um, first thing I want to talk about is jewellery, mainly because I'm not wearing any and I'm like, I'm a jewellery queen now. I'm really into my jewellery. Mate, the jewellery on there is so cheap. It's almost criminal. Like, why are things like a pound, but they look so good? They literally look like top shop quality, but they're a pound. So first thing, hopefully the light will let you see it. I got was these earrings. So it's like a half, one's a moon and one's a star. I just thought that was really pretty. Comes packaged so well, has the branding on, like can't really fault it. So let's try these on. Pop the earrings in, let's have a look. Is my hair getting caught in them? Disgusting. I think they're really pretty. I quite like the mismatched like astrology theme all about it. I think they're gorgeous. I really love them. I also got some rings cause I'm trying to like get into like the chunky gold rings. There is literally 12 rings and i paid two pound and they're really gorgeous they're like you can't even see but they're like these gorgeous chain style i'm just gonna pop the a few on to show you oh my god this star one's nice and they also have the mini ones so you can have it like midi rings this is how they look so far really gorgeous i really love this kind of style please don't look up my big tan and I still have three left over so there's loads to play around with I'm really happy with this I don't know if they'll tell my fingers green probably but like for a night out or just to wear for a day as like an accessory I'm pretty happy with that also forgot to say if you like my hauls or like watching me on YouTube please like or subscribe if you're not subscribed already I think that's pretty rude do you know what I mean and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok I'll leave my handles here because I post so much fashion and just general me chat and shit every day so Come join me over there, let's get into the clothes. Finally, what we're all here for. So the first thing I'm gonna grab is literally just this dress because it's right here. And how stunning, it's like this broadery, broadery anglaise, little white dress. And I can't believe like how nice quality, like you would find this in, I wanna say like H&M or Topshop, like it's really nice quality. I mean, we'll see when we get it on what it looks like, but yeah, it just has these little boob cups and a little frill down here, puff sleeve, just perfect for, Summer, really cute, like angelic. My only issue with this is in here it says it's a medium, but in the little packet it came in, it says a large, and I ordered it in a large, so now I'm like, is it a large or a medium? It looks pretty big, so I think it is a large, but you know, we'll just have to see. Guys, I am shook. I think this is beautiful. I think this is so pretty. Wow, I really, I'm shook. I don't know off the top of my head all the prices and product names and stuff, so I'm gonna leave links in the description. But also, if I can, I'll put up a little like how much everything is. I do feel like this was definitely my the most expensive thing I ordered, and I think that was around twenty pound. So for them, that was def that's definitely like their higher price point. But this quality feels like something you would get in a shop for around thirty five to forty. So definitely a good you know investment. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm sweating from how long it took me to get into this, but that, I don't think that's the dress's fault. It's just because I have no one to zip it up. But yeah, I think this is really flattering. I also think this must be a medium because it like just about fits me. So I'm not mad, I'm kind of glad I got a medium instead of a large because a large would have definitely been too big. But yeah, what a stunning material. The boob cups don't really do much, but they're like a pretty detail. You could always wear like a strapless bra with it. With a tan, like a nice pair of sandals. This would be the perfect holiday dress if I was going on holiday, but you know, we're all taking in the beautiful English sunshine at the moment and I have been debuting all my outfits around the local area. So yeah, I every year I always get sort of like a white dress like this. I think they're timeless. This is honestly never gonna go out of fashion, do you know what I mean? I'm super impressed with the first thing I tried on. I can't get over the fit, like how well it fits my body. But this was one of their most expensive, my most expensive things, so. Yeah, I wanna see what the rest is like. All of their stuff comes in these little bags, like zip ups, which I think so cute because one, you wouldn't expect something that comes from China to have such nice branding. And two, you can reuse these bags for so many things. One, wet swim costume, it just goes without saying, you can go in here, but even like little makeup bits, bits. Like when I travel, I always put my liquids in a bag like this because I don't want them to explode. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep these. I think that's just a really cute, nice touch and shows that they actually care about their branding and their image, whatever. So yeah, that was nice. We're gonna move on to this set. The crop top is huge. Look at it. So the sizing is very confusing. I didn't understand anything. Like it's literally like extra small, small, medium, and a medium large, which is 12 to 14. So I was like, well, I'm a 12, so I'm gonna get everything in medium large, not a medium but then this doesn't look like a 12 to me. I mean, it might be different when I try it on, or it might just be, oh God, the material. <sighs> Cause the Corona, we haven't got much money. So anytime there's a little dupe or something you can get for cheaper, I'm all for it to be honest. As long as it's not a direct copy, I think it's okay. Um, this clearly is one of like, you know, the Zara shorts and knit top, but it keeps selling out. I just saw this and I think it was around 13 pounds. Um, but yeah, I don't really have high hopes for this, so maybe I should have just got the Zara one, but let's get it on and see what we think. Okay, this one, I feel like we've gone from like the best to the worst, and we're already we're only in two outfits, but I don't really have much to say about this. I think this is quite shocking. I mean, the material feels really soft, but it, I mean, I don't know much about sewing and how to sew, but I feel like this is not sewn on properly. Like the pockets of the shorts, I just, it just feels very B-Tech. It just feels like you go into those weird like five pound shops you see on the high street and like they're just selling random stuff and this would be in there. Um, you can't adjust these and they're just so big. Like this, to be fair, if it was my size and the top was like this tight, I probably would keep it because I'm not gonna lie, it's actually really soft. Like let's just not slag it off. Let's do the positives. It's very soft and if it is like a lounge set for around the house, yeah, fine, it's nice. I'm probably just bitching because you could probably get like five of me in here. And the top on the model was genuinely tight, so I don't even know what size I would have to get. If you like this and you're my size, you're probably gonna have to get a small because it's so stretchy. It's gonna have to go back. I don't know if that's even gonna be a mission in itself, sending this stuff back. I don't even have a printer, like what's, what do you want me to do? You can't have it all, you know? <laughs> you can't have it all, you get what you pay for. This was very cheap compared to the Zara one, so in hindsight, I probably should just, should have just paid a bit more. Let's move on to the next item. This really cute, I've seen these everywhere, by the way. It's like a little cardigan top, lettuce hem, button up, and I've seen them in so many colors. They have like green, lilac, but I thought I didn't have many baby blue things, so let's try this. So I'm gonna pop some generic pair of shorts on to try this on with. I didn't get any from Shein, so. Someone just come and stop me drinking Red Bull because it's a fucking problem and it's a disgusting habit. Um, it's not good for you, but I've definitely got an addiction. Like I just feel buzz through my veins when I drink it. Okay, I feel like we're already back in the game. We're already changing my opinion one thing at a time because this top is beautiful. This is more like it. This is very me, just. Cute little crop top, you can throw it on with shorts, you can wear it with like grey joggers, white joggers, jeans, and but it's still summery and pretty. But it feels good, like it feels like a really nice like knit. I got this in a medium. The more I'm going along, the more I'm realizing I should've just got everything in a medium. So if you're a size 12 or have a similar body to me, do not get medium large, just stick with medium. But very cute and it's like a bit cheeky because it opens there, you can't, oh, you can adjust it. 
I mean, oh, there's like little pearl buttons. Can you see that? Oh my God, I love it. So nice of a tan as well, this color. I just feel like, I mean, I look orange anyway, but this is really accelerating the color. Really, really pretty. I don't really have much to say about this apart from I love it. Yeah, again, for the quality, it's, it's like, I want to say it's almost like an online Primark, but it's actually better. Like, I don't think you would find things this stylish or on trend in Primark. It's making me wish I bought like all the other colors as well because there were so many. Okay, let's just move on to the next item. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about a bag quickly because I don't wanna forget. But yeah, can I just say for bags and any sort of accessories, it's unreal. Like, I don't know who buys their clothes or designs their clothes, but they just seem to get it right every time. Like, any trend you want, they have. So if you're like a trend whore like me, get on it. But this, I know I just said I don't like when people do designer tubes, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna fork out 800 quid for a Prada bag, but this was the next best thing. Like, I have not seen a dupe this good from anyone. I mean, you can switch whatever way. It goes on just like that. I mean, come on now, come on now. That is so sick. I haven't taken all the tags off. I love it. It's literally the same sort of nylon. This was 13 pounds, so it was a bit more than a lot of their things. I think their designer dupes they can whack a bigger price tag on but it's even got like the little pouch it's got the branding but I don't even know what that says Shuo Fie it literally says Shuo Fie I don't know what the fuck that means I'm gonna google it because imagine if it means like you're a hoe or something <laughs> oh my god it's saying that it's like Greek or something I don't think it even means anything what the fuck guys it's not a word it doesn't mean anything it's a literally just a random letters put together I don't understand where did they buy this from? I don't understand, but I don't really care. I like it. So obviously it's got a little pouch. Does your phone even fit? <gasps> I don't know why that shocked me so much. Oh my God, it barely, it just, do you know what? I don't think your phone even fits in there, but that, that I'll still be happy with because I'm not going to have my phone in it a lot, but that's cute. When you listen to music and you're just like, of course, a little nylon pouch sort of bag and it has a chain detail, which I love. It feels nice. Like it, it feels good quality. I'm going to be honest. And you know what I did realise? Let's shut the phone away because she won't feel it's nothing. You can take it off. You can really adjust it so you can have take the strap off and then have this as a little shoulder bag. I mean, I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but who's telling you you can't? Like, no one's going to come and tell you you can't, do you know what I mean? Do what you want, Hans. Cannot wait to wear it. I feel like you can style it with so many things and it just... Because it's like really, it's like utility vibes. It makes any outfit look really cool. So yeah, it's a yes from me with the bags. Shook it. Okay, let's move on to another outfit. This is another thing I got in medium large. And I, again, I'm just regretting it so much now. The minute I got got it out, I was like, oh, it looks huge. But it's this cohort. Again, astrology theme. I'm just really feeling this kind of print at the moment. It's just really edgy and cute. I could imagine wearing this to like a festival. They sort of like a little bandana or something. But I just think that's really cool. I'm trying to be down with the kids. It's literally all of this styles. It's just trends I've seen on TikTok that I'm now uh, on 14 year olds. That I'm there like, oh, it's really cool. <laughs> that awkward moment when, when, when I'm like, oh my God, it's so big. It's not going to fit me. Like, look how huge that is. And it literally fits me perfectly. Oops. No, I'm joking. It's still a slightly big, but definitely not what I was expecting. I actually quite like this. I feel like I'm ready to go to a festival. The top is adjustable, which I love. The minute something has adjustable straps, it's a yes from me because I have really small shoulders. Everything's too big on me, but yeah, it's like a straight cut top. I could kind of tuck it in and show my belly more, but it's kind of nice, I guess, that you can wear it more like looking like a dress. It's a bit more demure, if that's your thing. You know me, I like to get my skin out. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like this tube skirt. Um, I think it's quite nice that it's not ridiculously tight. It almost looks more flattering, but this outfit with a pair of like DM style boots, little glasses, vibey. I don't know why I've got a festival outfit when I'm not going anywhere. SW4 has been cancelled. We were holding on to the very last moment and it got cancelled and shattered my dreams to be honest it's black like this kind of print doesn't really go out of fashion so i like it and i think the top would be really cute with just a pair of like denim shorts um same with the skirt i think with like a white ribbed sort of tank top that would look really cool but yeah because i love astrology i feel like this print just you know really goes with my personality do you know what i mean got a pair of glasses which i think will look sick with this again glasses selection 
unreal. I was so tempted to get more because they're like two quid. Um, also, how come it comes in a case? Like, it's it's less, it's cheaper than Primark, but it comes in a case, and Primark you literally just ch chuck a fucking pair of glasses at you. Do you know what I mean? Unreal. Just like feels really nice, like leather. Oh, and it's wrapped inside. Come on, packaging. I got these, they're, the light's not letting me show you, but they're like a sort of square sunset red, very retro, like I think it's like 90, maybe more 2000s vibes, but they're very on trend, cool right now. I feel like anything from the 90s has just exploded. So thin little gold frames. They look so pretty actually, so cute. Let's try them on. The thing is, glasses can look nice and then this, do I look nice? Genuinely like I'm going to SVU4. What do you think about the glasses? Do I look cool or do you want to look like a dickhead? They're two pounds, you know what I mean? You can't go wrong. Even if it's just for like a vibey photo like this, this is honestly how my brain works. Because we have nowhere to go, I'm buying things for fucking photos and that's how toxic Insta Instagram is. So like this, like off the nose and then like a nice makeup look. Yeah, fuck it, I'm keeping them. I'm literally keeping them just for the clout of putting them on the Instagram. Let's go on to the next thing. Again, it's another cord, but it's like, oh my god, this is legit my two personalities clashing. This cord versus the one I'm wearing. It's like this bardo little floral crop top and then this really nice tiered sort of skater skirt. It's not usually a style I would wear, but I can imagine it like in the south of France. Not that I'm going to south of France, but I like to put on clothes and just feel luxurious. So let's whack it on. Okay, this. I genuinely thought I was gonna absolutely love, but having it on, I'm really not sure how I feel about it. I feel like this was the one thing I probably needed to get in a bigger size just because it's very adjustable. So overall, it looks really pretty. I like the fit, but there's just a few bits that feel a bit tight. Like the elastic in the skirt for one is like kind of digging in and making my belly like poke out. And then also it's just so short, like, I think that skirt's a bit short. Like you could just about get away with it. I'd have to wear like little shorts underneath, which I do sometimes, but especially English weather, like your skirt just blows up every now and then. Also, the arms, oh my God, they're fucking cutting off my circulation. I don't know who these arms were made for. Either my arms are huge or this was made for a child because I actually can't barely uh, move them. I do like with the top that you can, you can like pull it in and adjust it. So let me show you. You can go really in and make it like look like this shape or you can pull it out a bit, you know? It is really pretty and girly set and like the feel and quality of everything is really lovely. I think I would like this if I got it in a large. So if you do like this, don't let me put you off. Just get it in your size because the arms, oh my God, they actually hurt. I prefer if it was like that. The next thing I'm going to show you before I forget is some more accessories. So they had, again, those hair ones. I got just these scrunchies. So it's like a pack of three just because I really need some scrunchies. Let's have a look. They had so many colours. The site in general is just very overwhelming. Oh, they're like organza like material. Now we can actually do like pretty stars. Yay. And I actually, just because I wanted to cover all bases, got a pair of shoes. Uh, so yeah, I didn't realise they did shoes and then suddenly like loads started popping up. I was like, damn. I've wanted a pair like this for so long. It's like these sort of chunky sandals. They're like Prada style. I think they just make any outfit look a bit more like rocky, like wearing a little floral dress like this and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to wear girly sandals. You want to kind of punk it up a bit. This is the perfect way to do that. Yeah, these are the sandals, I think. They look so cute. I really want a style like this. Kind of like sliders, but more secure. And even with a skirt like this, I think they look amazing. And they do half sizes, super comfy. I'm very, very impressed. They literally feel so squidgy. So yeah, enjoy the shoes. Next and last thing I, not last thing, but the next thing that I got was a bikini. Cause again, I just wanted to try all their different ranges from accessories to clothes. So you could get like a good idea of everything. Um, it's very pretty very on trend, this sort of tie-dye style, but they had this in every color under the sun, but I thought green would look good with a tan. They look very long, so is it meant to be high rise? Also, I don't know if I wanna try, on, like, I don't know if I can try on a full bikini on camera, but we're gonna see how it goes. If I don't feel confident, I'm gonna put shorts on, so. Okay, I don't know how I feel about being in a bikini on YouTube, but I just wanted to show you, I've got my shorts down here before I pull them up. Um, the fit, 
this bikini is stunning i love it like if i was on holiday i'd wear this right now i think the shape is so flattering like this triangle star i've always loved it's got padding in um and you can adjust how much or little cleavage you want and then the bottoms i really thought they were going to be too big but they're absolutely fine they are a bit on the smaller side like them it's more of a foam bikini but i still think it's very very flattering they're not too high rise so they're not like up your ass <sighs> let's do this so i can breathe out that was stressful but yeah i love this color and yeah like i said this is so on trend they had it in every color and it was so cheap for the quality like I just love it. I, I'm obsessed with this bikini. I want to wear it right now. I want to be by the pool wearing this. It's so cute. Denim shorts and a bikini top is just my thing. Like when I'm on holiday, I just can walk around like this. I think it looks great. I feel very confident in this bikini for something so cheap. I'm like, oh, do you know what I mean? Very pretty colour as well. Just absolute vibe. Sage green. Sage green with a tan. You heard it here first. It really does bits. Okay, have I got anything else? I really don't want to forget something because I'll be so fuming. Finally, I have this bag. I was only going to get one bag, but then I was like, oh, I can't resist. I've got a problem. But this is just so pretty and unique and such a beautiful colour. Like, I couldn't go on there and not get something lilac, do you know what I mean? So I just want this little lilac crop shoulder bag. Again, very 90s. Very fashionable. Thing is, I have loads of shoulder bags, but they're all like neutral they're like brown i've got brown one gray one and a black one now and i'm like mm. for summer like sometimes you just need that pop of color especially if you're wearing like a white dress you could just add this and it just really does the most the quality is insane i have a croc bag from Topshop from last year genuinely it feels the same if not better i think it's amazing for eight pounds look love um just going shopping with my friends why do i why am i giving off major la vibes right now huh feels sad to end the haul do you know what i mean I'm just gonna pop this top on so i'm not just chatting to you while wearing a bikini because it's kind of weird so yeah just before i end the video i just wanted to run through some quick a quick few q a's because there might be a few things you're wondering about the website like is it safe to order from i would say yeah like my stuff arrived they use paypal all major ways of taking card in, card so i think it's absolutely safe i don't know about the returns process yet um if you follow me on insta i'll give updates on that because i'm gonna try and return a few bits i'm definitely gonna return that but do you think i should also return this or do you like it let me know i don't know is it worth it oh my god and another thing the website is so confusing and overwhelming so definitely make an account of just favorite stuff because sometimes you, you won't see something again once you see it you'll just lose it and you're like oh my god i loved that and you can search what you want but their search bar is confusing so i just scroll down the new in or scroll by trend and favorite all the bits i actually had about 80 things of my favorites it is shipped from china as well so it does take quite a while to come like i said before mine actually came a lot quicker than i anticipated so i was really impressed with that i just filmed the video and then i sat down and sort of texted my friends and sent them all the outfits and they were like that's incredible like that's so cheap they look so good and i was like yeah oh my god what the fuck i feel like i haven't hyped it up enough i don't think i like finalized how i feel about it like a hundred percent i would order from here again i think it's insane quality for the price of course there was a few hiccups but not as many as i thought thank you so much for watching this video and letting me just prance my, around my room doing a catwalk let me know what you think of Shein are you going to be ordering from there or are you too scared so yeah have a lovely weekend